Hello, my name is Caitlin Younger, also known as Ranger Kate, and I am from Johnson Branch State Park, and I'm here today to go over some very basic how to use your GPS for geocaching. And so the first thing is you're going to need a waypoint to find your geocache. So on our eTrex 10 here, we are first going to mark our geocache. So on the right hand lower side, you will see a little power button. It is also labeled light on this version. So I'm just gonna, going to hold it down until that completely comes up. And normally you would wait, you would wanna be outside in an open area so it can find all the satellites first. Um, we're inside today, so I'm going to um, just show you the basics, not waiting for my satellites to load. So you're going to need to know how to use your toggle button, which today a lot of kids won't necessarily know how to use a toggle button. They're gonna automatically want to punch these buttons. So you might have to describe this toggle button moves up, down, left, right, and then you'll have to push it in to enter or to select whatever you're trying to find. So first we're going to go to mark waypoint. And so I'm going to move my toggle button down and to the right once and mark waypoint will be highlight highlighted. So in order to mark our waypoint, we are using our toggle button and we're going to go down and over to the right one or wherever it shows up on your menu. Um, and then once it's highlighted, we're going to push that toggle button in to select it. And I have to look at it while I'm doing it. And then it's automatically going to find the coordinate for where you are standing. So you want to be directly over where your geocache is going to be hidden. And then you can leave it the number, it will automatically try to name it. Or for finding the cache, it helps if you name it some kind of clue to where the geocache is hidden. So for me, in my park, I normally name it something like rotten log or split tree, something that's going to help um, the finder actually locate their geocache because these are only accurate within 10 feet. So once they get into that 10 feet area, they're going to need some kind of clue to help them find the geocache. So what I would do is just use that toggle button to bounce up to the numbers, select enter, and that's automatically going to give me a little keyboard there where I can name it whatever I like. There's a space bar. It limits your characters, so you don't want to make it too long a name, but just something, or in the classroom here, there's an alpha rug I might name something that would help. Um, might be too much of a giveaway. But once you're finished with titling your geocache, you're just going to bump all the way down to done again. Select enter by pushing in that toggle button, and it'll automatically go back to your coordinates page. And again, you'll bump down using the toggle button and or up if it's not cooperating like mine's not. You have to find whichever direction the toggle button wants to work in. There it goes, maybe. And then you will select once it's highlighted, done. And that will have marked your waypoint. And so it's there on your geocache to be found at a later time. Now, the next step is actually going out and finding that geocache. And so we're back at our menu button here. And if you ever get lost or think you've broken this thing by punching it a whole bunch of different buttons and going a different way, you can always hit the back button, which is the top right hand button labeled back, and just keep punching that until you get back to that menu page, something you recognize. And then you're gonna use your toggle button again to navigate down to our waypoint manager. So you just marked that waypoint and waypoint manager is going to pull up your list of all the geocaches that you have marked along the way. And so once you figure out which geocache you want to go to first, you'll go down um, your menu. So I want to go find stumped. Sounds like a good one. I'm looking for a challenge. And so I'm going to use my toggle button here to bounce all the way down to stumped. And then I'm just going to press it in again to enter and automatically it's gonna highlight go for me. So I don't need to change it at all. I just punch in my enter button again to go to that geocache. And it automatically, automatically wants to pull up the map route. I personally like the compass route. I think it's a little bit easier to locate my geocache. So what I'm gonna do is go back to my menu. I've already selected which geocache I'm gonna go find, but I'm gonna hit that back button to go back to the menu. And I'm gonna bump up to compass. And then normally you can't see it too well on the screen because it doesn't have 
uh, the satellites haven't located it, but you can tell where there's a compass there. And it would automatically find my geocache and give me an arrow that tells me which direction I need to start walking in to get to my geocache, which is awesome for kids. You put it on that compass mode, put it in their hands, and they can bump around and figure out which direction they need to go to find that geocache. So the other important thing about this screen is, is that it will also tell you how far away you are from the geocache. And like I mentioned earlier, um, these things are accurate to about 10 feet. So once you get within the 10 feet range, that's when you're gonna stop and use that clue to actually locate your geocache. So once I walk, walk closer to my geocache and it says about 10 feet, maybe 15, sometimes it'll make a little beep that lets you know that you're getting close. Then I'm gonna use stumped and I'm, I'm probably gonna look for some kind of tree stump to locate my geocache. And that's when you can start to dig around in the ground and find it. And so then you would just want to go back to your, the, your menu button. And then you can go back down to your waypoint manager after you found it and just select the next geocache and keep on moving along until you found all of your geocaches. And I'm trying to think of any other tips or tricks to use these things. Like I said, if you ever think you're, you're lost, just hit that back button until you get back to your menu and you can usually just start over again. But your mark waypoint and your waypoint manager are the two you're gonna use for the most um, basic settings for these things. Um, that's all I've got for you guys today. Thank you.